Hello, I'm Karen Scheimer, and I'd like to share with you about a ministry of faith development hosted by Karis United Methodist Church. Several people gather on Zoom each week to discuss books and theology and relationship with Christ and ways to share these insights in the world. I've asked a few of the members of the group to share. I have to say I have felt <clears throat> energized from the mystic way of evangelism because what I'm reading and what I'm hearing is it appears to be more like the church, the first church, mm -hmm. uh, when, when the apostles went out and shared the good news. And I think the most thing I got out of this is how many different ways we can have a relationship with one another, with Christ, with God, and the Holy Spirit. The book study group has added so much more to my spiritual practice. Hearing thoughts, questions, and insights from other Christians seeking as I am has opened my mind and my heart. I'm more focused now on how I can use this time I've been given to live the life God intends for me and to bless others with my time, talents, and the wisdom that comes with age. I did the All Will Be Well study and I was um, moved by it. It changed me. So I shared the book with a friend of mine who's Catholic. She said it changed her life. It changed her understanding of how God loves her. And later she became a um, teacher's aide and then a teacher in a Catholic school. And she has shared this book and how much God loves us um, to her students. Actually is influencing how I might reach out and serve other people. Um, it's it caused me to be willing to go and explore the volunteers and mission aspects. I have shared some of those books. Um, it's also created some deeper conversations with friends and people I know. It allows me to embark in conversation with a group of people that I feel so accepted by and non-judged by. A couple of the members of our group were unavailable for filming and wrote this and asked me to share. For me, this faith development ministry on Tuesday nights rivals the Sunday morning message as the most personally valuable piece of my ongoing Christian development. Being in this well-led group of mature believers and discussing complex and serious religious topics has expanded not only my knowledge and understanding, but has equipped me to better answer questions put to me by others. And I look forward to our next book to see how the Lord will use it to shape and grow us.